What is up, GG603? Coming at you another YouTube video. That day has finally arrived. The fossil box is here. So excited. This is the fourth time we've hit one of these limited time boxes. Struck out on the jungle. Struck out on two base set boxes. So hopefully, this bad boy right here, the fossil box, is the one we finally hit a vintage pack or at least a really good vintage single. I'm confident that this is the one that we're going to smash out of the proverbial park. Let's get it. That moment has finally arrived. Fossil Acciones guaranteed. Graded Fossil action. I'm excited for this thing. Uh, excited? Certainly nervous. Uh, if you guys haven't been keeping up the uh, previous boxes, yeah, it didn't go the best. <laughs> but we're hopeful this is the one. All right, so here is your write-up real quick. Great, great selection of packs here at the top. A little focus, focus for you there, there we go. One in 25 is the key here, one in 25, ladies and gentlemen, that is the hope of the day. All right, dig through some of this goodness. What is this? Hmm. One real fossil inside, 380 million year old trilobite found in Madagascar. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. That's creative right there. Let's see what let's see what this thing looks like. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I'm sure I'm not supposed to be touching that with my fingers, but uh Cool stuff. I believe that a trial bite would be what a kabuto is based off of for those wondering, so already really cool that's something extremely different i i was certainly not expecting that in the least bit here uh get, again get rid of that uh that filler i love that stuff though it's great for uh great for packing all right so coming out the gate okay evolving skies i don't remember where the write-up was i admittedly didn't read the whole thing okay so, so I will say typically this product's like really high-end sets. They do advertise uh, Pokemon Go Evolving Skies, Burning Shadows a little bit lower, but Ultra Prism, Unbroken Bonds, Roaring Skies. Okay, so we do like that, but typically you get things a little bit older uh, out of these boxes. This is typically uh, essentially the Ultra Box, but with uh, vintage guarantees. So I gotta say, don't love seeing the Evolving Skies out the gate. I know it's a great set, especially right now with uh, that Umbreon card kind of... Ra ri rising in value, which is uh, rather uh, surprising. I still haven't pulled that card, by the way, and I would love to pull that card. So I don't hate getting uh, Evolving Skies in general, but I think this product in the past has brought a little bit more to the table than that, but you know what? First pack, we'll get through this. Uh, focus, focus, not, not cooperating here. Focus, focus, there we go. Once we focus once, it usually figures itself out. Today is not that day, though absolutely fighting we get a ribbon badge we get a lit leo can't wait to be king right there looking adorable we get a dino pumpkaboo as it is spooky season everybody carvana oh no no turn into a sharpedo right before our eyes and we get a zorark regular hollow coming in hot all right second pack okay another evolving skies again you know good set good set don't mind it uh what? typically you like to see older stuff out of this but you know what we still got plenty left in here. There could be some absolute bangers. We might even have that vintage pack. You never know. Oh, I hope we do. You know, uh, one in 25, which admittedly 10 out of 250. If we pulled that off, that'd be incredibly impressive. When you think about it as one in one in 25. Okay, that's not terrible. But when you think of it as 10 and 250, that is an absolutely insane number to try to hit on. Absolutely insane. So we're having a little bit of focus, focus issues here on this round of fossil action. Drowsy, a flabebe, flabebe. We get a Swablu, we get a Thievel. Okay, an annoyed Vern V, little, little bit heater, heater action, a little bit of heating up, heating up. We'll take that, we will take that. And we do sleeve up after the video, just don't want to bog things down throughout the middle of the video to do something so simple. All right. We get a little Burning Shadows. Okay, Burning Shadows. I believe there is indeed a Charizard in this set. Don't hate that. Anytime you give me a chance at a Charizard, we will absolutely take it. There's your code card right there. 
four is the trick. Burning Shadows, bit of an older set, looked like a regular code card, so we'll kind of fly right through it. We'll focus as we go. It'll work itself out, it always does. We get a Pikachu, a Noibat, Jupiter, from Jupiter. Probably it's Jupiter, but you know what? We're here for it. Alolan Rattata just looking kind of kind of gangly. I don't like that. And then a Persian little Kanto vibes action for you. I think that card went behind my back. Yeah, it did. I don't see, like, I think, I think that's stuck behind me right now. I believe it's stuck behind me. All right, we get a little Ultra Prism. Okay, uh, more Sun and Moon action. This is typically X, Y heavy, but that's just fine. You know, you can't, you can't win them all. We still got a shot of pulling absolute banger as a graded card. One of the five singles, or of course, pulling the sealed pack, which we will open right now. If we are lucky enough to pull that, we will do it. We're crazy like that. Don't, don't think we won't. Don't, don't think we won't. We get a bronze on again. Something about this uh, round of packs just uh, doesn't want to focus, focus. We just got out of a different uh, uh, opening for a Lost Origin, the newest set, of course. I'm sure you guys checked that out on the channel already. Frost Rotom, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Um, no issues the whole time, but of course, uh, all of a sudden, camera doesn't want to focus, focus, focus. All right, here we go. All right, so all the good packs we're hiding as we got some XY Roaring Skies action. Of course, we're looking for that Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Shout out, real breaking me. You can't, you can't do the Rayquaza without Rayquaza, Rayquaza. You just can't. It's not allowed. There is your code card. Silverback action. It's hopefully something spicy here. Three is your trick as this is XY Air. Absolutely love the XY Air. The cards look fantastic. Great vibes to him. We got a shell gun with a bag on. A little put of action. Ninkata. We get Swablu, Voltorb, Togepi, Reverse, and. Okay, regular Skarmory. And you know, it'd be like that. You know, sometimes you think you get the good code card, but turns out you did not get the good code card because it's XY error and they don't care. It's absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. All right, we are going to save that pack just because uh, we like that pack a little bit better. But coming up next, we got a pair of Pokemon Go packs. So I got to say, number of packs, decent value so far. But again, you know, this kind of box just comes down to, do you get the vintage pack? Yes, no. Did you get all commons as your solos and graded? Yes or no? It's a, it's, it's a very simple product to break down, to be completely honest with you. It doesn't matter what packs necessarily are inside. It all comes down to if you're pulling some decent vintage Axiones, which <laughs> the past three times we have not. But we are hopeful that that trend breaks here. And then we're going to dive into the base set two box coming up this upcoming month with fervor and excitement. But I tell you what, if we, if we go over. 0 for 4 and then pretty much anything of, of general value. I don't know if we can go for the, the base set box. I, I think we'd be crazy to keep going down that avenue as we get a Slack King V here. Love this style V card. Love the background, the colors, the excitement. Uh, again, love this set. I think it's a very fun set. Still, uh, can't seem to pull any dittos. I don't know if that's a me thing. I don't know if that's an everybody thing. But I, I truly am getting my uh, butt kicked by the, the possible ditto pulls. Because my only one, I think, was uh, Spinarak, too. And I know there are multiple. So uh, I, want, I want the ditto, please. I would like the ditto, please. And thank you. Please and thank you. We get an Ariados. Egg Incubator. Zatu, how do you do? We got a Pikachu, a Squirtle, a Bidoof. Meltan. Oh, 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 Charmander going into an Ivysaur. That will not be a ditto. You'd know it would be right there. You'd see a ditto symbol right where that F would be. And a Blastoise. Nothing crazy on the Pokemon Go action here for you today. But our last pack. Oh, no, two packs before we get into the toppers, so to speak. Any of you uh, sports fans in the house might know Ultimate Team lingo there. A little topper action. Unbroken Bonds. Another great old set. Love that. Absolutely love it. Not something I really get to open much of, if any. So, uh, always welcome. Always welcome. All right, we got a gold bat. Okay, focus, focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Focus on the Metapod Bod. All right, Metapod Bod don't want to focus. There we go. Polyworld does, though. We get a Pikachu. We get a little grubbin for nubbin. We get Ghastly, Gligar. We got a Spirit Sea. We get a Sand Shrew Reverse and, oh, oh and a Koga's Trap. Fantastic. Absolutely love that. 
love that beautiful card easily the highlight of the day up into this point but my favorite set will always be my favorite set in the modern game especially xy era and on we've got evolutions man can't say enough good things about the set reprint a base set one values great the nostalgia is incredible i will never not ever remotely even continue or, or start a complain about seeing evolutions we're not even look at what type of code card it was because you know what i love this set either way three is the key Char charizard spear link there are a bunch of awesome charizards in this set still yet to pull the regular reverse of the charizard we get him a choke again the old school vibes absolutely love to see it here charmander we get a magnemite energy we get a growlith oh oh and a magmar is the reverse i thought we hit chari and then a regular eradicate i thought that this was the great great charizard oh i i just i love that set <laughs> i love that set so much i, I even keep that set set separate from my other card collection because i just enjoyed that much all right so coming up first all right clearly there is no pack here i don't know if this is where the pack would be so there's gonna be five singles all fossil hopefully first edition hopefully something other than commons and please please have a hollow in here all right got first card again these are all vintage singles from fossil kind of hard to tell but uh just qu a quick once over all that stuff looks like it's just on the outside good kept card maybe even recently open i'd go as far as to say okay we get a crabby we do get first edition we'll take that we will take the first editions absolutely all right so this card's got a little bit more wear and tear i don't know if it really comes through great here you can see a little bit of whitening up here at the top it's always tough to get a, get a focus through the, the the sleeve and the protector all right so we might have something maybe a little bit more valuable here considering it's got a, a little bit of use to it Okay, Graveler. Don't hate that at all. Not the first edition, but I absolutely love the design of this Graveler. Uh, we will absolutely take that. We will absolutely take that. Not too shabby so far. Not too shabby. A Graveler and a Krabby. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, but it just worked out that way. All right, next card. Looks good. Good condition. Probably nothing too exciting there. Yep, a Tentacool. Regular Tentacool. Not first edition here. Now, I don't think they guaranteed any number of first edition. Uh... Give me just a moment once over of the oh no once over on the insert real quick once again five vintage fossil cards okay so they don't say whether or not you uh you're guaranteed a, a first edition card per se. all right and we are up to number four number four of the singles then we have one graded card hopefully it's psa and hopefully it's something shiny okay i love the psyduck i love that again wish it was first edition no first edition stamp but you know what psyduck love this card art we're very happy about that kind of a bit of a theme here outside the grab where we get three water types and what will we have a number five again all these cards look pretty good i do think that these are um likely freshly opened i don't think these are old collection cards which you know we always do like we always do like okay we get an omni Okay, I'm night. I was I was gonna say Omnimite, but there's not that many syllables in there. We do get a first edition action, and we do keep that water theme going. It's funny. It looks like the top of this is actually considerably larger too. It's tough to eyeball those kind of things, but you know what? Overall, we get a pair of first edition stamps in the Krabby and the Omnimite. I love the Graveler, Tentacle. Okay, side up. We love the side up. So you know what? Out of all the random so, uh, singles we could have pulled, that was not worst case. All right. Uh. So, we are 0 for 4 on trying to pull the sealed pack. That's fine. Like I said, we were technically looking at a 4 in 1,000 chance. If you want to do the math like that, I know. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, that's not right. That'd be 40 in, th I don't know. I'm terrible at this math. But what we do have for you, PSA grade. I tell you what, that has hasn't been the best sign 
from this box. But the fact that it's not a Beckett or any of the other grading company, I think is very important to note here as if it has a little bit of value, they're gonna go to PSA to grade that thing. Now, t t uh, likely these were not graded individually. These were likely purchased pre-graded based on just how typically mystery products tend to work. But here we are, PSA 10. Hopefully this is first edition. Um, the card looks good. The card does look good. But if this is a common or a trainer, we're gonna be very upset here. I know I can't expect the shiny goodness every time, but I feel like we're kind of due a little bit of shiny goodness. Without further ado, drum roll please. Metaphorically not, probably literally. We have got a PSA. Atkins, bro! And it's an eight? Oh, cheese and whiskers, man. That's tough. Oh, that's tough. I I, I can't imagine. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> part of me says, well, we're due to pull a decent graded card at some point. But the other part of me says, you're never gonna pull a decent graded card at some point. And I know, I know, first edition is an absolute dub. We do like the PSA, but uh, an eight for uh, 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 common. You can tell because it's got the circle, not the diamond at the bottom. <laughs> I think we definitely could have done better. I tell you what, though, I love the nostalgia of these cards. I do think, though, it is becoming relatively abundantly clear. I probably could have just bought a pack for roughly the same price, and we, we, we could have rolled the dice on that bad boy. So you know what? I think that next month, instead of diving into another month of these mystery boxes, I think we might just go buy a vintage pack. You guys let me know in the comment section down below if you think that's the right play, because I don't know. I feel like at this point that might be worth the gamble. We're we're pulling we're pulling nothing but but commons anyway, you know? So in theory, we we do have a better shot at pulling something decent if we just go go out and do it, you know what I'm saying? So you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you about, feel about that. Make sure you don't forget this upcoming Sunday giveaway will be ending for Pokemon Go. All right, so there it is, another round of vintage mystery box action. And as I tell you what, I, 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 I truly feel like we might be better off just buying a vintage pack of, uh, of our own at this point. Taking kind of the cleaners a bit, you know, if we're gonna pull nothing but commons, we might just, we might just go out and buy a vintage pack. But you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you think that is indeed the play. I think it might have to be, but I appreciate y'all for coming through. Y'all been the best, y'all been too sweet. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and notify the thing, activate all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Woo! Appreciate you.